Before we start, I just want to say I'm really sorry about the audio. The in-game audio was really loud for some reason. Uh, I tried fixing it and I thought I had it first, but I looked back at the recording and noticed that that wasn't the case. Uh, so I hope you can enjoy the video anyways, and let's get Hello, going. Hello boys and girls, my name is Andreas and you are watching some War Thunder. Now, I don't know how many of you actually heard of the game, uh, but I heard it for quite some time ago, maybe one, two years ago, and started playing it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, it was a really long time since I played it now, though. <laughs> but the basics of the game, that you are an airplane, and you shoot down other airplanes. That much I've gotten. <laughs> and uh, also, you can play now, play tank battles. Kind of like the tank online game, I guess. I have no idea, because I haven't played it. So, as always, this was a game that I thought was worth the famous Shriek series videos. Because uh, I've seen it being played around YouTube for quite a lot. And uh, maybe not so much lately, but maybe a year ago, uh, I saw it quite a lot on a few different channels. So I thought that, yeah, we're gonna play. So, as also, as well, when we have these famous street videos, we also uh, create a topic that we talk about. So, simply, today's topic is going to be an experience I had uh, maybe not too long ago, actually. Uh, last Friday. Uh, and the topic is do things before it's too late. This might sound strange, because it sounds like I'm talking like I'm a 70-year-old man thinking I have to live life enough. Uh, but truth is, this happens in our everyday almost. Uh, for example, my example at least, was with my phone. Uh, I basically got a phone a long time ago. Uh, it started breaking down last summer or this summer. And uh, that's just the basics of it. And I didn't turn it in because of all the, yeah, I'm go I think I can handle it until I get the, uh, until I can change phones. Because that's one of the perks of having uh, kind of one of those phone things. We can change phone after a while. Yeah, I don't know if you heard of it, but I have it. <laughs> so I thought, I just, I'm just gonna wait till that happens. Uh, so last Friday, uh, the phone broke. And that actually made it way, way worse. Because now, uh, I might get the blame for breaking the phone. Uh, and that's gonna cost me so, so much. And it's just really unnecessary from if I would just have, like, uh, turn it in immediately. And it would probably gone on insurance instead. Uh, but I was stubborn and thought, yeah, it's not such a big issue, and I probably won't notice too much of it, which I did though, but I tried to be optimistic. Uh, and now, the phone broke, and it's a much, much bigger problem than it really had to be. Uh, so that's just, I think this can be applied to so much in our daily lives, it can be applied to relations, it can be applied to things that we do, just simply... Let's say we go the ordinary scenario where an old guy tells you that do things before you get too old, before it's too late. And you start your job, your job and everything, and you don't, you get so busy in your career. Uh, so let's just take that, that is an example of do things before it's too late. Uh, another example is my phone. I didn't turn it in, and it became too late, and now it's going to be way worse than it had to be. Uh, so instead I suggested turning in when when it first started breaking down and everything would have been better. It wouldn't be good but it would be way better. So I started thinking about that. Like how can it be applied to other areas in our days, in our lives. And I think it can be really... I mean it matters a lot uh, in a lot of different ways. For example in a relation uh, maybe with your parents, maybe, or your friends. Uh, maybe you had a fight and you don't want to go and sort it out. And eventually it'll be too late. And you'll just go around and regret that why, why didn't I just turn it in? Or why didn't I just tell her? Uh, and why didn't I just sort it out? I said I'll let us go this far. And now we won't be able to sort it out. Now, now I mean, it could be that bad, uh, and it doesn't have to be that extreme that you lose a friend, or and, uh, it could just be small things. Like for example, why don't you go and grab a sandwich now? Maybe it'll be too late later, and you'll regret it. It could be applied to so much things, 
and as usual I, I like talking about these things that I hope would improve people's lives and I believe that this is one of them this thing that uh, actually would make a lot of improvements to people's lives and just they're every day uh, really and now I'm not telling you to stress and do everything at once <laughs> That's not what I'm saying, because that's that's not healthy either. You just simply have to find a balance uh, that makes your life understandable and that you can kind of feel comfortable with. I got two planes on me. That was good. Yeah. And that, now it's way too late for me to return. So maybe if you wanna, uh, I don't know, go on a trip. It could be something like that. It could be anything really. As I mentioned it. Uh, but you think you don't have any money? And why don't you just do a small trip then? Uh, do it now before it's too late. I'm not gonna go all shield a booth on you and tell you just do it because I don't think that's really how it works. <laughs> but you can do way smaller things. You don't. Maybe you don't have to go a whole week on vacation to uh, Thailand. I don't know. Maybe you can take uh, just a weekend off and go to a beach somewhere near or some other place that isn't that expensive because Thailand is really freaking expensive. You can just do things, small things to change your life and do them now before it is too late. Before you start that job, before it all turns all your career and you have to focus on that one. Some of you maybe you probably already have started there. And I don't I'm not saying that it's too late for that now. <laughs> it's definitely not. You can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. Uh, at least I believe so. Uh, I'll there's always a way to make your life a bit better and you can always do the things that you want to. Uh, within reasonable limits, of course. Maybe you can't go to Mars if you're seven year old, uh, but you have to adapt kind of. You know, if you're seven year old, you're probably not gonna have to, you know, be able to go through the space training stuff. So that's just why what I want to talk about. Because I see the game is about to end. You know, uh, I just wanted to talk simply about do things before it's too late, and you know, don't drag out on things that you do, there's no central in in drag out. Just for example, we have work things, or school things, uh, maybe you have something to turn in and you don't do it now because you think that yeah I'll do it later. <laughs> Procrastination is the enemy of productivity and productivity usually leads to happiness. Sure laziness can be really good but you also need to be a little productive to make your life better because in the end it's your own responsibility, it's your life and you gotta do what makes you feel better. So that's all I want to talk about today guys, uh, really think about and not just push things up and think that no, it's gonna be alright, just don't, it's about the same with doctor visits. If you think you feel bad, then don't wait, make it now and have fun with your life afterwards and you'll feel a lot better than if you keep on waiting and nothing sorts out. So have a great day guys, and as always, uh, I love you guys watching, <laughs> thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and I can't wait, the next State of the Case series, or the video, will probably be out this week a little bit, I'm afraid I'm going to be exiled, we'll have to wait for maybe next week, uh, because i got a lot of stuff to do this weekend, I think, uh, if not, I'll pump out a lot of videos this weekend, <laughs> so enjoy your day guys, and keep on being awesome. Bye everyone.